This video is proudly brought to you by Mastrop. They've sent me a pair of their AKG K7XX reference headphones for me to test out and fall in love with, and I have to say I have. This product features a sophisticated open back technology, which allows them to be comfortable and spacious without compromising on the audio quality. These headphones feature a very high dynamic range, which means they are perfect for any of your audio file needs, as well as gaming where listening to footsteps is an absolute must between winning a game and losing a game. Mastrop pride themselves on absolutely amazing customer reviews, which is why they individually test and number all of their products to give you the best quality. If you guys are looking for a brand new headset, a link will be in the description for you guys to join the drop and fall in love with these headphones like I have. Thank you guys and thank you for Mastrop for sponsoring this video once again. Let's get into this video, shall we? This video is all about audio with an escape from Tarkov. It's going to be directed towards the players that don't really know how to use audio to their advantage and they certainly don't know what to listen out for to make their gameplay better. Many people do not understand how vitally important audio is within Escape from Tarkov. I guarantee if you master audio by watching this video and practicing a hell of a lot, your guys survival rates will go up massively and you will be able to get out with more gear get more player kills, and just have an overall more enjoyable experience while playing Dark Up. So I'm first just going to point out a common misconception. You don't need to spend hundreds of hundreds of dollars to get a good headset to be good at listening to audio within Tarkov or any other game. It doesn't matter whether you've got a $200 headset that's really audiophile and has got nice bass and anything, or you've picked up a $5 speaker system from Walmart or whatever. It doesn't matter because as long as you can still hear, you will get used to the sound that comes from your speakers. Although it'll be different qualities, you're still going to hear the same sound. And that is the important thing. It doesn't matter whether it sounds crackly and shit, although that is going to put you at slight disadvantage. It's not going to be night and day difference. You're still going to be able to play and you're still going to be able to improve if you know what to listen out for within Tarkov. The first little tip I have for you is turn your in-game volume all the way up. It doesn't matter whether your eardrums are getting fucking wrecked, it doesn't matter if you're bleeding, it doesn't matter if you're passed out on the floor, always have your in-game volume all the way up. This is just a blatantly obvious tip because you'll be able to hear people from a further distance, you will be able to immerse yourself more because the volume is way up and you will be able to block out more background noise and you'll be able to hear things coming from different directions more clearly. So many people don't really understand that audio, although it's constantly being improved within Tarkov, is very full in itself at this moment in time. There is many different audio cues that you need to listen out for. Newer players don't understand that walking on an inside of a building sounds completely different to walking on the outside in an open field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play many of the audio cues that you need to be constantly aware of when playing Tarkov. This is, say, a player walking on wood. This is a player walking over concrete floors or stone. This is a player walking through an open field in the dirt. This is a player hitting a bush or walking through a shrub. This is a person walking over broken glass that is on the floor. This is a person hitting or walking through barbed wire. Now this is very loud, so if you are walking near barbed wire, try to avoid it because any player in the surrounding area can hear this. And the more obvious one is either scav voices or player voices. You can hear this from a mile off whether players are using voice cues or scavs are talking to each other in the distance. You need to be aware of this because you'll be able to identify in what direction they're coming from. Next up is metal. This could be if someone's walking on metal railings or if someone's jumping on a car, for example. This is what this will sound like. And finally, if you're playing factory a lot, you need to understand that tiles are a massive thing. Walking through second floor bathrooms in the factory offices, you hear this noise a lot.
Now combining your knowledge of these audio cues with good map knowledge which you can get over time by just playing the same map over and over again, or watching other people play on Twitch or YouTube or something, and get an idea of where people go and what people do on the maps, getting your map knowledge up over time combined with this audio is going to make you a very good player and many players will be hard to counter you because of the fact that you'll be able to hear people sneaking up on you in different directions. So the next thing is how to react, how to react when you hear a certain sound. Now it all depends on the location you're in, but a few global sort of rules that you need to understand is always think that they know where you are. No matter if they do or don't, you've got a 50-50 chance of whether they know you're in a certain place or not. So always move quietly and always relocate to a different position. Then you'll be able to get the jump on the player when you're listening out for them coming up to you or getting closer. Using sound will be able to tell the direction of the player, especially if you're using headphones, which the 99% of you are going to be using. So you'll be able to tell whether they are to the left, to the right of you, whether they're above you or below you, you'll be able to tell. So if you've relocated, you will still know where they are based on audio if they are not moving quietly. If they are, then you need to be very careful. Try not to move yourself and listen out. This is why turning your audio all the way up will give you an advantage because you will still be able to hear people slow walking, but just not as much. I'm now going to be breaking down a few quick clips of playtime over the past few days and showing you how audio has helped me get kills and get the jump on players within live raids of Escape from Tarkov. So spawns still aren't fixed 100% in Escape from Tarkov, and that means people still spawn close to each other. That's what happened in this case. I spawned Ollie's side inside the trailer park, and this guy must have spawned at the back wall. He started running straight to get inside of Ollie, and didn't realize that I was in front of him. He started running straight ahead while I was covered behind a bush. I was able to hear him coming up behind me, and I was able to take him out nice and quick. As I said earlier, metal is very loud. Here I was using it to my advantage. I was looking for scavs down Ollie, and I heard him coming up the front of Ollie in the metal staircase. I recommend you guys take it slow when first entering any side of the interchange shopping mall, because all of the metal staircases are loud. Either that, or take the staircases that are not metal and try and walk as slow as you can. Gunshots are the easiest telltale sign to tell where somebody is because they are so loud and they echo across the map, but it's a lot easier when they are right next to you. So what I did here was I heard it coming from the gate of Big Red. I did check behind me just to make sure he wasn't shooting at anyone down towards the crossroads extract. And then finally I did my duty and shot him with really bad aim with a foul and then eventually killing him when he laid down rather than pushing me while I was reloading. I had you.
So at first I knew the scavs were coming in to three story dorms because I heard them walking around on the wood. I also heard the first scav come out of the front door and after killing him I moved up to the second floor. I got jump scared by Rashala but other than that I heard some more metal stairs moving and this is once again using metal to my advantage. I was able to identify it coming from my left ear so I knew that he was coming up to second floor. I peeked the door and as soon as I heard the door open it was my turn to pounce and he didn't have a chance to react. So to conclude, audio is used in many different ways but using the audio cues within Tarkov along with your map knowledge you will become an absolute deadly weapon. Make sure you react fast and react quickly, but react in a way that they won't be able to hear you as much as you can hear them. Go for long flanks, stay away from the audio unless you've got a guaranteed shot to kill. Because even though audio is going to give you an advantage, if they're a better shot than you, then you may be outplayed quite quickly. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, a like is always appreciated. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to take my children. You can, you can have them all. They're all on sale on eBay. Anyway, I love you all guys. I'll see you very, very soon. You're my best friends. You know that? You should do. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna see you, see you in my bedroom later, ain't I? Yeah? Yeah, I am. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be nude and waiting for some dicking.